Do you want to look and feel more attractive? Do you want to be able to socialize better and make more friends? Do you want to trust yourself in everything you do even when it seems impossible? In this video I'm going to show you 10 tips to feel and look more attractive. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Cole Hastings and I'm here to help improve your life. Now before I get into the tips, I just want to have a broad definition of what it means to be confident so you guys just know exactly what it means to be confident. So confidence is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. Yeah, I literally just took that off of Google, but essentially what this means is you appreciate yourself, you trust yourself, you know you're going to do well in something, stuff like that. You, you just feel, you feel happy, you know you can succeed, and it's mostly just positive things. And this is going to be split up into two kind of sub parts. So the first part's going to be how to look the part, so how to look more confident and look more attractive. And then the next part is going to be how to actually feel that inner confidence to trust yourself. So the first tip I have for you guys is to speak slowly and walk slowly. So if you're speaking clear and concise and somewhat slowly, then people are gonna understand you better, you're gonna get your point across better, and you're gonna look more confident, and you're gonna talk more confidently, because there's this reoccurring theme where people think if you're talking too fast, you're very nervous to talk to them in the first place. And the same thing goes with walking slowly. So if you're walking slowly, it appears like you've already achieved what you need to achieve. You're not nervous, you're confident in your walk. A lot of people got a little swagger in their walk. I've tried to change my walk a little bit uh, through my body posture. I'm gonna talk about body posture in a second. But yeah, um, just shows less nervousness, more confidence. And then the second tip I have for you guys is your body posture. This is a very big one. A lot of people these days have really poor body posture just because we're all at a desk hunched over like this and it turns out to be really bad. People, lots and lots more people now have like hunchbacks. I used to have terrible body posture. I'm gonna show you a picture in a second. So there's three sub tips within body posture. Uh, the first one is having relaxed shoulders. So your shoulders are relaxed and back. Your chest is very wide out and open. You don't wanna be like this, but just standing tall, it shows trust. Someone will trust you more, trust to be able to walk up to you and want to talk to you more. And it shows, again, that you're just confident. If you're hunched over and you're looking down at the ground, it's like you don't wanna be there, you're sad, you're depressed, you're feeling some type of way. So always have your chest out and your shoulders back and relaxed. I'm gonna leave a link to some exercises I do to improve your body posture. And then the second tip within body posture is to have your arms relaxed to your sides. A lot of people think like having your arms crossed like this while you're talking shows that you're really confident, even though it doesn't at all. You actually just want to have your hands totally relaxed. Don't clench your fists. Don't play with your fingers. Just have your hands down and relaxed while you're talking. You'll appear a lot more confident. And when you're not focusing on something like this, then your, your speech and the talk will flow a lot better. And then the third tip within body posture is to have your feet open and not closed in like this. So this just follows the open principle. I'm gonna show you guys how I changed my body posture. So let me go over here. All right, so uh, you probably can't see my feet, but you want your feet open like this somewhat. Um, the way I usually stand just to make myself look more attractive is kind of lean on one foot like this. I don't know, I just, it's gotten to the point where I'm so used to this posture uh, that I feel like it looks good. Um, it's almost like those Greek statues. I took a Greek and Roman archeology span class 
I don't know if you guys know, but all Greek statues have like this perfect posture pose. Um, so that's what you're kind of aiming for. And again, you don't want to be like this. You want to have your shoulders back and relaxed, just like this, and your hands down to your sides. But yeah, that's all I have for uh, body posture. The third tip I have for you guys is eye contact. Again, a huge thing that people just disregard completely nowadays. You want to make sure you're keeping eye contact for about 80% of the conversation. So if you're talking to someone, having eye contact shows that you're confident. If you're looking away from them, it's like you're not even paying attention to what they have to say, first off. When you're listening to them, you want to keep eye contact. You'll be able to actually listen to the conversation better and you just look more confident again. So yeah, try and aim for about 80% of eye contact with the person you're talking to. That is a huge one. If people see you're just looking into their eyes, it seems like you actually care about what they have to say and you're not afraid to look them in the eye. People are, get so nervous about just looking people in the eyes. So the fourth tip I have for you guys is to dress and groom nicely. So this might seem like an obvious one. Obviously when you're in that outfit that you're like, I know I look good in this. You're gonna be more confident, but really just get a nice haircut, uh, shower, have some, some hygiene, brush your teeth, and just wear some nice clothes. And that'll honestly just increase your confidence. And again, that's just playing the part. You look more confident, you look more attractive, and that in turn is gonna make you feel more attractive. The fifth and last tip I have for you guys to look more attractive is to smile more. So yeah, it sounds like complete bullshit, but smiling more makes you look more confident. If, you're, if you have this negative mindset and you're frowning, you're just, you look mad at people, who is gonna wanna come up and talk to you? If you really wanna socialize more and be more open with people, if you have a nice smile on your face, you're way more likely to attract friends and have this confident mindset. There's even studies, well this is, this is proven, that just smiling more, it releases chemicals in your brain that make you happier, so, just have that smile on your face. It's really cliche and corny, but it actually does help. So the sixth tip I have for you guys is to step out of your comfort zone. This is a massive one. This is one I struggled with a lot in the past, but if you're constantly stepping out of your comfort zone, you will become more attractive easily. So some simple examples of this is just talking to that person that you're afraid to talk to, like asking that girl out. You don't have to ask someone out, but if you you go up to someone that you're really nervous about talking to that you think is like super attractive and you talk to them, even if you fuck up, afterwards you're gonna feel amazing. You're gonna feel so much better. The seventh tip I have for you guys is to do something you've been procrastinating or set a small goal and achieve it. So this goes hand in hand with stepping out of your comfort zone kind of you're doing something that you really didn't want to do. You'll just feel a lot better after if you're constantly completing these small goals. So it doesn't even have to be anything like massive. It can be something like making your bed, which I've just started doing. It just makes you feel better about yourself. It makes you feel like you've accomplished something. So that's just a small tip. That helps a lot. Doing things you've been procrastinating will lead you to do a lot more other things you've been procrastinating. You just get into that habit. The eighth tip I have for you guys to feel and look more attractive is to be kind and grateful. So again, this is kind of another cliche one, but it really does help to just be kind to others and be grateful for everything you have. There's a lot of people in America that only think inside the American scope and they just take everything they have for granted. Food, clean water, Clothes, some people don't even have these things. If you're more grateful for the little things and you're happy and kind because of them, you're gonna feel a lot more confident. Again, it sounds cliche, but these things really do work. Just being grateful about everything you have will make you a happier and more confident person. 
The ninth tip I have for you guys is to dispel all negative thoughts and think positively all the time. So this is kind of like positive affirmations. You wanna take the positive side out of every situation. So maybe you did really bad on a test or something as an example, and you studied really hard for it. That doesn't mean you're stupid. You can think, oh, okay, I still got some information out of this by studying. That's a positive side to this. Or maybe like the example I used earlier, you went up to that attractive girl, asked her out, or boy, and she said no. You can still think about, wow, I had the balls to go up to that girl and actually even ask her. I think there is a positive side of every situation. You can take a positive side out of anything. So yeah, if you get into this mindset, you make it a habit that there is a positive to every situation, you see the positive aspects of everything, you're gonna be more happy, you're gonna have more energy, and you're gonna wanna do more, and you, again, will feel more confident. And the last tip I have for you guys is to change your focus. So when I say that, I'm saying change your focus on surrounding things. This kind of goes with thinking positively. So about yourself, you can focus on the positive aspects of you. For me, I don't really think about the things I'm kind of insecure about that I just need to embrace. So like my teeth are, I kind of have canine teeth. I don't know. I've always just had really sharp teeth. I have this scar I used to be insecure about, but now I kind of just embrace it. I feel like people like it a lot. So yeah, you just need to change your focus on certain things. And changing your focus on your self image, which is what really matters, nobody else's opinion matters. You gotta remember that. So have a good self image and you will change what you look like and what other people think about you. If you are thinking well about yourself all the time, think people will think well about you. That is a massive one. I have learned that over the past few months, just thinking better about yourself overall and feeling better about yourself overall, even when you don't want to, will make other people think the same. That is just how it works. That's how you attract happiness into your life. So yeah, that's that's all for this video. Um, that Those were my 10 tips. Just watch this video over again and repeat these habits. Get into this mindset. Um, change your posture. That's the biggest one I have for you guys to just look more attractive. So keep watching this until you finally understand and just get into the full habit of these tips that I have. And you're gonna feel and look more confident just immediately. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more, then subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.